Hey guys, so today I'm doing a what's in my diaper bag video. So if you're interested in seeing what's in my diaper bag, then just keep watching and I hope you guys enjoy this video. So this is my diaper bag. Um, it's Carter's. I bought this at Babies R Us for $50. Um, I really like this bag. It has a lot of space. You have a pocket at the front, a pocket at the back, and two pockets on the side. And inside of it, you have a lot of compartments. So, a lot of space. Um, I still get this bag all filled up though, um, to the point where I can't even zip it up because I'm crazy like that and I always feel like I need to bring everything that I think I need and I'll probably use only half of what I brought so I still do it though because I I don't know I just feel like it's better to have it than to not have it okay so I talked about what I liked about the bag and it's the space and the design I think this bag is super cute and that's why I got it right and the space I mean the space and the design is why I got it but let's talk about what I really, really hate about this bag. So the part that's supposed to hook the bag on the stroller, this part, it sucks. For a lack of better term, it just sucks. Like it drives me insane. This part, the buckle, it doesn't hold on to the, the strap at all. Like, it's this easy to come off. It, just like that, it just comes right off. If you hook it to the stroller, it sometimes just pops right off because it just doesn't stay. I mean, it's not coming off right now, of course, but it doesn't stay. And to prove that to you, the buckle off of this strap is gone because it just fell off. I don't know where it is. So now I'm gonna have to get a new buckle to put on here that's actually gonna fit in here. Like, do you see how this is driving me crazy? I mean, I'm kind of a perfectionist and things, little things like this kind of drives me nuts. I'm working on it, but I mean, seriously, like, couldn't you just make it so it actually holds on? I don't, ugh. But other than that though, it's a good bag, I love it. Okay, so let's get into the actual video, which is what is in this diaper bag. We're gonna start off with the front pocket. In here, I keep my wallet, my keys, and a hair tie. And that's all that's in there. I keep my wallet in here because easy access and my keys. I probably shouldn't do that because I mean, it could fall out, but it hasn't happened yet, so. And in the side over here, I keep her wipes and a hand sanitizer. Over here is where her sippy cup usually is with her water. And in the back pocket is where I keep, and a tissue. You can tell that I didn't clean this part. <laughs> I keep her, her changing pad. Oh, that's a wipe. Yeah. This is pretty real. So this is what inside looks like. And in one of the pockets, I have this wet bag where all the wet things go. And I haven't used this much. I think I've used this probably one time because, I don't know, she just never wets herself when we're out. Um... Hand sanitizer. This comes in so handy, you guys. I'm not kidding. Like, the fact that she's 11 months, she touches everything. And I mean everything. So when you're out, I use this a lot. And diapers. In another pocket, I have Camellia, which is a herbal... Um, it's for teething. I got it at the herbal store. Actually, a friend got it for us, but I love this. It actually really works. Um, let me show you. It comes in doses. 
So it comes like that. So this is a single dose and you just snap this off and squeeze it in her mouth. And it works. So yeah, that's what's in there. And we have a book. Um, I usually bring books that are, um, what do you call this now? Ugh. That are, whatever. I usually bring books that are like this and not paper because I mean, she'll rip the paper. So I usually bring books that are kind of like hard, bored, I guess. Bored? Yeah. And in that pocket, we have this, which is supposed to be for her pacifier, but she doesn't take a pacifier. So, yeah. I mean, I'm sure I'm going to appreciate that in the long run. The fact that she doesn't take a passy. And in another small pocket, I have a lip gloss and a lip balm. I still use these. Yes, I do. And for the big part of the bag, we have lotion, teething ring, teething key, key, it's a key, yeah. Her baby Einstein, a lamb, her little lammy for teething, and her little Minnie Mouse. She loves this thing. Um, I have to bring a lot of toys because she gets bored pretty easily. So, I mean, she'll play with one thing for a little while. And then when she gets bored, she actually literally throws it. wonder where she got that from. And if we're going on a long drive or something, maybe like a road trip or something like that, then we bring this little thing, which she loves so much. What's it called? Sis, I think. Yeah. This is little sis. So yeah, we bring that. Or something else. Whatever I'm feeling like. Um, washcloths for spit-ups. Guys, I never use these because guess what? I bring birth cloth and two. So I'm not sure why I bring these, but I do. You never know what can happen. Babes, I usually bring two of these too. Now you see why I don't use a washcloth? And a top, change of clothes, a little pants, and a pair of socks. I also bring a receiving blanket, and this is for when I'm breastfeeding. I just throw it over my shoulder and hide the booby. Oh, I also have another lip balm in here. Yeah. And in this little bag, which I got from Target when we were doing our registry, I have comb and a brush. Her hair gets crazy. Her hair is curly, so when you wet it, it really curls up. But then when you put a hat on and then she pulls the hat off, her hair just gets straight, like somebody just shocked her. It's really weird. So, like, randomly throughout the day, I have to, like, comb it over again, wet it again or something. I always say she has the weirdest hair, but it's just what it is. A little Vaseline comes in handy for the lips and stuff. Man, I have a lot of stuff for my lips. But this also comes in handy for the bum bum. And a lotion that I've never used. Baby Gunnix. I think I got this from Target too. With the registry thing. Little wipes I've never used. Target. And I have the Johnson's um, Baby Head to Toe Wash. I usually bring this just in case like something gets dirty and I want to like wash it out or something like that. Never happens though. But you never know when it's gonna happen. Nail clippers. Comes in handy. It does. I've used this a few times. When you're on the road and then she has the she has like some hang nail or something and she's scratching her face. Yeah. Just clip that right off. 
what else i have this little bag that i bring to and we have like little puffs in here uh this has in my stuff um breast pads pads and stuff like that so that's my little bag right there and in the diaper bag i usually bring this which has a latch in it and i usually bring stuff like this this is pear zucchini and mangoes i'll probably bring like two of that I bring her little snacks, these puffs, Gerber puffs. She loves these. Um, they have like different kinds. So this one's the star kind, which is strawberry and an apple. And um, we have the the longer kind. Um, she loves those one better than these, but you know, I change it up sometimes. And then we have juice in there sometimes, but I don't have it in here right now. And I think that is it. There's nothing else in here, is there? Nothing else? No. That's it. That's all that's in my diaper bag. And of course, I'll bring her blanket, her um, sweater, her jacket, whatever else that I think I need for that day. It depends on where I'm going, depends on what I'm doing. If I'm running to Walmart, I'll bring less. If I'm going to New York, I'll obviously bring like so much more. It's ridiculous. So yeah, let's see what else do I have here. Nothing, nothing, nothing. That's it. So uh, thank you guys for watching and I hope you enjoyed this video and give this video a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe. Bye guys.